Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, as I posted earlier today, um, recently Microsoft rolled out their latest optional bug fix update for Windows 11 22H2 KB5025305. And as mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, uh, Microsoft introduced a new feature which um, with that update, which now introduces a new option where you can now receive new updates sooner. Now, um, I did touch on this uh, very briefly in that video, but um, I thought we could just have a bit of a more in-depth look um, as to the feature and what it is all about, um, because um, there seems to be a little bit of confusion as to what this update is actually going to bring to the operating system. So I thought we could just pick this a little bit more apart and maybe shed a little bit of more light, so to speak, um, on this new feature, if you would be interested. Now, um, as the uh, setting says, um, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, and you can obviously turn this on to be among the first to get the latest non-secured updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. And that's all Microsoft tells us. Now, um, if we click on the link, learn more, uh, this takes us over... Uh, to a bit of a, a more in-depth explanation. And Microsoft says here in this first um, paragraph, we are committed to delivering continuous innovation by releasing new features and enhancements into Windows 11 more frequently. Windows devices get new functionality at different times as Microsoft delivers non-security updates, fixes improvements and enhancements via several servicing technologies, including Controlled Feature Rollout, CFR for short. With this approach, updates may be gradually rolled out to devices. So basically the long and the short of this, how I'm understanding this paragraph, is that this feature will use a controlled rollout to basically stagger and roll out the features um, using a staggered phased rollout approach throughout the course of the month when they become um, generally available. And uh, um, where previously that was not the case. So um, previously, um, Microsoft would roll out most of the new features um, with the optional bug fix update near the end of every month, which is now available in the fourth week of every month. So that seems to be the key difference what this feature is going to bring. Now, um, some other things just to take note of that Microsoft does mention regarding this feature is um, uh, when you do turn this feature on, it will respect your active hours. So, um, um, it's not going to automatically just download updates um, if you have active hours set. And uh, um, the fixes, improvements, and enhancements um, that are available at the time um, will roll out using that staggered rollout um, approach, CFR, controlled feature rollout, as they become available for your device. So it means that if I maybe get a feature in my region, it doesn't mean that you may get it in your region. And that's how I'm actually understanding that. And then something else um, to take note of um, is um, Microsoft says that whether you have toggled this feature on or off, uh, you will still get um, these recommended security updates installed as usual on a regular basis. So that means that would be the Patch Tuesday security compulsory automatic mandatory cumulative updates. You will still get those. So this isn't going to affect the security updates. This is only referring to non-security updates. So just keep that in mind. And uh, um, just take note though that your device will restart more often because um, uh, obviously it's installing um, new features and bug fixes and so on. So there may be more reboots per month, as Microsoft says, because obviously these reboots are needed to apply those changes. And uh, something else just to take note of, um, you can obviously turn this off at any time. And But if you do turn it off, um, the changes and updates that were applied before you turned this feature off will stay on your device um, according to Microsoft. And then something else, the last thing just to take note of is the toggle won't be enabled for managed devices. So those that are managed by Windows Update for Business or WSUS. So just take note of that if you are in one of those environments. And that's just basically just shedding a bit more light as to what this feature um, will bring and introduce to Windows 11 version 22H2. And um, as mentioned, just to sum it all up for the purpose of this video, it means basically when you have that feature toggled on, those features will be rolled out and those improvements and bug fixes will be rolled, uh, rolled out using a staggered phased approach. And, um, and at the end of the day, you'll basically get those um, updates offered to you sooner. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.